So, most of you by now have probably seen my vampire PvP build. Well, I just had a comment and a message saying, I've got a vampire 2.0 build and it's better than yours. So, damn right, we're going to check it. And uh, let's go and see what he's about because he sent a video. So, firstly, shout out Dark Lord Vol or on YouTube, Sinsark4396. So he just said, yeah, just made a Vampire Build 2.0, bro, and I'd like you to try it. And I was like, let's go, GG, send it, I'll shout out, amigo. So there's a shout out. And uh, this is it in action, the Ouroboro armor, the dards on the right, the carronades on the left, long nines on the rear and the front, the furniture, keep the same, the ship is the brig. Let's view this clip. Is it going to be the back of the day? But we won't know, so let's check it out. Oh, hi, this is Future Deathwish here. By the way, I'm live on Twitch.tv tonight. I def wish I'd. It is a free on Twitch.tv. See you there. So here we go. It's begun. We've already started off the fight with massive damage. You could have made this clip a little bit longer. But against another brig. What are you doing? You're doing a cutthroat. Oh, looks like we're going to have to try in a cutthroat then. <laughs> so my question is, why do you... Because um, you're probably going to comment in the, the comments down below. Sin, why do you use Karens on one side and Dards on the other? Why don't you use Dards on double sides? If you've not got the Dards, would you put Dards on both sides? Or do you actually like the way it's set up with the the 1 and 1? Or is it to get the level 12? I'm not too sure because you'd still get level 12, wouldn't you? Woo! Woo! Still got full health. Well, it looks like we're going to try out this build. So firstly, what we need is we need to get Zebragadin. So now we have got the Brigantine on. We are going to... Wait, wait, wait. We're going to go manage ship because them new sails need to flip in. Go on this bad boy because them new sails are here. Oh, the new sails already on it. Right, okay. Perfecto. Right, armor. He wanted the Ouroboros on it. So the Ouroboros is now on it. Then uh, we have got to put the weapons. So we are not... Do what the hell is even going on in this ship? With long lines on the front. Bosh. We are going to put the Karens on the right, which they already are. And we are going to put the Dards on the left. Then at the rear, we need to put some more Long Ninos, which we are doing. Bang, there we go. We've got Long Nines rear and front. And then I don't know what you used for your auxiliary. So I'm just going to stick with the Leopold 3, because Leopold 3... Bangs, does flooding. We've got the Auros. Now the furniture, I need to confirm what furniture I had on my PvP build. Okay, so the furniture is as follows. Furniture, we want the Scrapper Station, so it restores 8,000 whole health after a crew attack. So, yeah, if we're getting the crew attacks up pretty quick, then we're going to be able to do that. We've got the Light and Mask, increase acceleration by 13%. We've got the increased acceleration and deceleration by 8%. Because we're on a brig, we want speed. And then we've got the Reduces Crew Stamina Depletion when trimming sails by 15%. And then we've got the Spiked Warhorn, which increases charge rate of a crew attack by 10%. So this is the ship. And uh, I think we need to try it out. What's going on? I hate having these flipping things in here. So let's look on the map to see if we can see any cutthroat. We can't see a cutthroat. We can see a cutthroat. Let's join this event. And let's go to... Oh, where's the nearest location? If I go here, maybe we can join it in a, in a good fashion. But there's quite a lot of people in this. And I don't know how the brig does against quite a lot of people. Well, looks like we're about to find out. So let's quickly do that. Let's... Jump. Bam, bam, bam. Have I got enough cat cargo on? Yeah, I've got all the weapons. I've got my heels. Let's flip in, set sail, and let's go after this ship and test out this vampire build. Because this vampire build, maybe on 1v1s it's insane, but maybe against 10v1s it's not so insane. So, hmm, where are you? You are to my left. Let me make sure I get some food equipped. What have we got? Crew to crew damage, stamina regen, and brace mitigations. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I've got food. I don't have any water barrels, but I do have some water flasks. And I, I, I somehow magically lost all my water barrels um, and my flasks. I don't know how. But yeah, right. We want to go after this ship. Can I mark? I can. I can mark that one. So we make sure we don't miss the leader. Can we hit him from here? Oh, was that a hit? Was that a hit? Am I that, that good? Oop, wrong ship. I didn't hit the lead. Oh, are we going to hit? 
No. Here we go. You're going down, sunshine. Bosh! Let me grab that map. Where's that map at? Where is that map at? What a map, what a map, what a map, what a mighty good map. Right, let's get going. Let's keep her moving. Oh, is that a hit? Oh, he's torn my sails. It's not good. Oh, no. Ooh! Sucks to be you, boy. You're going down. Oh, no. Start getting that heal up. Oh, no. Hit them sails again. Bosh! Oh, I just went straight into a blooming mountain. Um, what's going on? Fire some muskets off. Let's get them heels back up. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's get out of here. Sales. Keep that hill up. Keep her moving. We need some food so we can brace. Yes, and we done it. We didn't do too much killing, but that is a vampire build. So let's uh, look for this, see what treasure we get, and uh, <laughs> let's give him a little dance. Indu Manu. Right. So, where is this treasure at? Let's see what we got. What do you think we got? Let me know in the comments down below. Rubbish. Good. You've got to try and place your bets before I actually collect it. Because otherwise it's cheating. Because then you're going to know what I've got. Well, I could hear people talking. But crazy sprags breaking into Fort Oston. Where's this treasure at? Nothing up here. No. Is there anything around here? No. How else are we going to show off this PvP? Hmm. Oh, an investigation. Yes, please. Pshh. I bribed them. Got the whisper. Grave news. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, ooh. Naughty. What's it up here? Anything up here? Where are you at, treasure? I know you're here somewhere. Are you here? You are here. Right. Have we got something legendary or have we got something poop? We're about to find out. Dun, 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 dun. We got a Black Prince and a Bombard 5. I say that's a W. I say that's a 10 out of 10. So anyway, guys, there's a PvP build. Let me just quickly show you it once again because obviously it was all over the place. If I go to manage ship, manage ship, weapons, we have got the long nines rear and front. We got the Karens on the one side, which is my right side. And then I've got the Dards on the left side. Then I'm also using the Leopold through 
through free we got the armor which is the oro boros and for the furniture we have got the scrapper station 8000 whole health after a crew attack we've got the increased acceleration by 13% we've got the increased acceleration and deceleration by 8% and we've got the reduced crew stamina depletion when trimming sales by 15% as well as the increased charge rate of crew attacks by 10% so yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this build. Would you like me to do a bit more of it? Um, I'm not too sure. Would I, I? I think I could actually make this a little bit better. But yeah, keep an eye out for that one. This is the PvP 2.0 build. Remember, massive shout out. Excuse that comment. That comment is not to be seen by your eyes. It's the Mrs. Senate's me once upon a time. And uh, yeah, massive shout out to Dark Lord Vol. GG's in the chat. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.